we're cutting this trip short, unfortunately. Um, I'll go into it a little bit later on, but um, yeah, that's it. Let's go home. Hello, we're checking this. Business class? Yes. Oh yeah, I think so. I'm not sure this about it because a different airline. Ah, uh, okay. You can proceed over here. Okay, that's the way. All right, thank you. Hi there. Um, business class. Uh, this one here? Any one too. Any of them, thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, how are you? Can I have a Yes, of course you can, thank you. Yeah. This is why I'm flying home now, so. Wonderful. Make sure it's correct. Launch. Okay, perfect. And after that you can go to your gate by yeah. That's wonderful, thank you so thank much. You, sir. Thank you, have a great day. You too. Thank you, bye-bye. Right, checked in. The reason then that I'm having to go home today, um, well basically I've got another week planned of this trip. I was supposed to go up and fly all around Japan and stuff, do some really cool stuff. Um, in my last flight over to Singapore, uh, Kalin, the wonderful airline that they are, they've um, lost my bag and they've left it in Sydney. I say, I say they've lost my bag, they've lost it. They're still trying to find it. Um, I know exactly where it is because my air tag's in it and I can point them to the exact corner of the tarmac at Sydney Airport where it's sitting um, in Australia. But unfortunately, my bag's in Australia, I'm in Singapore and I've effectively got a handful of clothes to get me through the rest of the trip. So I've got to go home and abandon the rest of the trip and maybe come back and do Japan another time. <sighs> this is cool, isn't it? Um, but anyway, yeah, so well, let's get through to a lounge and get some breaky. Good morning, how are you? Thank you. Um, thank you. Hello. This is Silver. Uh, last one. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Hello. Yeah, it, it, it ain't brilliant. Um, this is the SAT lounge, by the way, here at Singapore. Um, it's all right, it's a bit quiet, there's not really much here, um, but the food's not that great. But never mind, because today we're flying on United Airlines in their Polaris business class, which is going to be pretty flipping sweet. My new hometown airline, because apparently that's a thing in America, having a hometown airline. Um, and we're flying on United today, back to Houston, um, with a just quick, quick stop in um, San Francisco along the way. So, um, yeah, not ideal to be heading home today, um, like halfway through a trip. Don't like doing that, but really got no choice at the minute. So um, let's, um, let's go and um, get on board United and um, head home. Now, whenever I'm traveling, one thing that is absolutely inevitable is that there's gonna be an awful lot of waiting around. And um, I got to thinking recently, wouldn't it be great if I could use that waiting around for something a little bit more productive? And well, that's where this week's video sponsor comes in quite handy indeed, because this video is brought to you by Blinkist. It's absolutely invaluable. It takes words from over five and a half thousand texts, condenses all the important key parts down into 15 or 20 minute segments or blinks you can get all the key takeaways in a really short period of time now I am a natural born worrier and that's one thing that if you ask Rachel or anybody that knows me personally, I just worry all the time. Which is why I found a really good book on there recently called How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. And it's a book by a guy called Dale Carnegie. He's an expert in the field. It was written quite a long time ago, but it comes up with some really cool points and it just condenses it down into a few key points such as how to be grateful and have a little bit of gratitude in your life and things like that. If you are more of a listener, than a reader, there's like I can be sometimes, then um, that's great because Blinkist also lets you listen to all of the blinks that are listed as well as reading them on your phone, which means if you're on an airline that has really rubbishy in-flight entertainment, um, I'm looking at you, Air India, um, then you can just plug in your ears and listen to your blinks instead of the in-flight entertainment. Now Blinkist have introduced a really cool feature recently that I really like. It's called Blinkist Connect. You can have two people 
on one plan. So I can just invite Reach, for example, and she'll have all her own set of blinks that she can listen to um, through the audio app thing or read them on the screen, just like me. Blinkist are offering you 25% off a premium membership. And also don't forget, you can get two for the price of one when you use my link down in the description. You know how I used to say that getting on British Airways at the end of a trip was brilliant because it's like the first sight of home? Well now I'm in Houston, this is the first sight of home. United! The friendly skies. Hopefully they were being friendly today. 787-9 Dreamliner and it's going to take me now all the way across the big pond to um, San Francisco and then connecting onwards there to get home. So um, let's go and let's go and get on board. Welcome on board the United 787 Dreamliner in Polaris, Polaris business class. I do love this suite. I honestly think that this is probably the best business class in all of the Americas. I don't know, let me know what your preference is down in the comments, but I do love Polaris. Decent TV screen there, table and everything there. Little cubby hole there with the water in it and headphones power and everything beautiful sort of marble effects tile there and look this amenity kit it's an away amenity kit I actually use away luggage um, as my carry-on that I usually take it's not the one that got lost but you do use away luggage it is a flipping good stuff so the amenity kit is obviously sponsored by away which is nice um, we'll look through that later beautiful comfortable seats Saks Fifth Avenue bedding up there and pillow it on there, Saks Fifth Avenue, very, very cool, and the um, little blue pillow as well. The memory foam pillow is always nice on these flights. I am proper looking forward to this flight. It's a good old run tonight. 14, 15 hours tonight across to San Fran on the Dreamliner. Oh, it's time to go home, guys. Today they took us northeast out of Singapore to fly off the coast of Taiwan and Japan before flying across the Pacific Ocean past Alaska and down into San Francisco. Flight time tonight was 14 hours and 12 minutes cruising at 36, 37 and 38,000 feet. Alright then, so airborne from Singapore on the United 787-9. Best time I've been on one of their Dreamliners actually. I've done their um, 7, 767s and 777s on long haul before, um, but never a 787. So this completes the list. Um, and it's very nice indeed. It's in this 121 config up here in business class. So it's got the um, the Polaris sort of one on the aisle, um, one on the window, one on the aisle, one on the window, a bit like that. It's kind of like many are. Um, one on the aisle wasn't my preference, but the flight was oversold when I booked it last night already. Because um, I only booked it last night, there was no seats available at all when I um, when I booked it. Um, so I was effectively just waiting for somebody else to cancel, and then somebody else clearly did, and I ended up in 12L, which is a window, which is a benefit for me, albeit it's a window that's sort of um, at the back of there. So at the back of there but never mind so yeah the seat itself is really nice um, we've got sort of pyjamas handed around they've came around and given us our pyjamas that's my spare medium on that's just died on me um, some united pyjamas as big as it gets very nice for the immunity kit which we'll go through in a little while as well um, all the bedding and everything I showed you before um, very very nice indeed one thing I really like is on the TV screens on United on the long haul flights 
gives you like a little schedule of what's going to be happening on the flight. So we're going to have the meal service, then lights out, light snacks, lights on, another meal service, and then arrival. Um, so they're doing a the lunch now because apparently there's going to be some turbulence um, sort of an hour or so into the flight. So they're going to get the lunch service done right away um, so they can make sure that's done. Really nice touch. Um, and yeah. That's it, crew absolutely fantastic as always on United and I'm just looking forward to flight. Alright then, so dinner has arrived and I have gone for the fish today, which looks quite nice. A bit of a salad and a glass of wine as well. Let's see how it goes. absolutely delicious. Nice bit of fish. Good option for today. And then um, I think there'll be breakfast served in the morning when we arrive up into San Francisco as well. All right then, time to have a look inside. This is really, really cool amenity kit. This is the Away amenity kit on United. And basically I love it because my carry-on wheelie case I have is an Away one and it has it basically looks identical so this is just like a tiny little version of my own case it's really really cool and i'm probably going to end up using it to put like cables and stuff inside let's see what is inside i love it it's like an actual carry-on case it's sort of split into two like an actual carry-on case would be that's really cool and what we got though this is a crucial thing tissues Really cool eye mask. It's fluffy on the back, nice with earbuds as well. Socks, really nice socks. Oh, and they've got sticky bits on. Look, sticky bit socks. Nice. What else we got? Let's see. Let's see. Argos style pen. Oh, and look, actually, the inside of the case. The same lining, I don't know if you can see that, the same lining that the cases do. The big ones, that's very good. And on the other side we have toothbrush, toothpaste. Sunday Riley, in-flight remedy, facial cleansing cloth, face cream, lip balm and hand cream. Very good. I love this. And you know, this is something that the American carriers do really bloody well in my experience, is actual brand name amenity kits. I actually buy decent brands, designer brands, and they actually have decent stuff in them as well. It's even got the Away Zip look. Um, this is what you get on United, Delta do the same. Um, American, I think, do. I've not flown on American long haul. Um, business class, but you get a decent amenity kit when you fly on a lot of the American carriers. And I love it, so thank you United, that's, um, that's going to be added to my collection, I love it. Alright then, time for bed. Um, I've put the bed down, it's very comfortable, loads and loads of room. Very, very roomy, um, which is very nice and very comfortable as well. I mean, I suck the Fifth Avenue um, bedding on me, as well as 50 million cables I'm trying to figure out how to charge, but, um, but yeah, it's very comfortable indeed. So I'm going to try and get some sleep now um, and hopefully um, wake up with a couple of hours left to run into San Fran. That'll be nice if a good time that right, but um, we'll see. So um, I'm going to try and get to sleep, uh, but I'll see you in the morning. Good night. It's time for the No Phillips Flu Review. Alright, then, time for a Lou Review on the Polaris 787 or United Polaris 787. Or should we call this a, a Polaris Review? Maybe, I don't know, because we're doing a Lou Review, I don't know. And anyway, this is the 787 Dreamliner bathroom. It is uh, relatively clean say that we're like most of the way through the flight now. A few toiletries and stuff there, like Sunday Riley stuff. Um, 
nice mirror, nice toilet and baby changing table in here as well. Um, the jammers by the way are really nice that they've given us and the PJs if I show you the see on my back there I'm, I'm wearing Polaris branded pajamas. Wicked. Let me see if I can do it from the other side. Hang on. Polaris branded BJ, so pretty, pretty nice. Um, they're very comfortable, very roomy, very spacious, um, which is quite nice. Nice, slept very well in them. Um, I think that breakfast is about to start being served, so I'm going to get changed back into my day wear and then head back to my seat for the remainder of the flight. That was the Noel Phillips Blue Review. Alrighty, righty, righty. Breakfast has arrived. We had a choice between an omelette and biryani, and unfortunately, curry for breakfast. I, yeah, he's not good with me, but um, I had an omelette, and there is my omelette. Um, so it's a turkey omelette with a little sausage, a bit of fruit, Danish, OJ, and there is coffee on the way. So um, let's get tucked in. It's all right, it's not perfect, but... For an aeroplane breakfast is not too bad. So here's the thing. I have only ever flown before across the Pacific on the Singapore Airlines business class because I guess you're always sort of told that Singapore Airlines is like so good. I've never really had it cross my mind to try doing a Trans-Pacific flight on an American carrier before because why would you when you're told that Singapore is the be all and end all of everything? Well, I have to say, I was wrong. <laughs> um, United, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but United's business class product is far superior to Singapore Airlines, in my opinion, um, in terms of what you get. I mean, the seat, look at this seat, so this is incredible. Like a Singapore Airlines seat might look fancier, but it's not really. It's cramped, it's tight. It's alright, but it's not as good as this. And what you get on United, you know, Singapore you don't even get an amenity kit. And you get a really well stocked amenity kit on United. You get pajamas, you get high quality, top name bedding that allow you to sleep really, really well on the flight. And the cabin crew are just absolutely phenomenal on United. And this isn't an, a one-off thing. Every time I've flown with them, um, their cabin crew have been just incredible. It's, it really is as simple as that. And honestly, if I was to recommend an airline to fly between Asia and the USA, I would take United over Singapore any day. This is just incredible. starting our descent now down into San Francisco and arriving um, back home to the US after my first trip from um, the US. It feels pretty special I have to say, pretty cool um, to be coming back to the States after this trip. It was only a short one, um, got some really cool stuff done, I'm really, I love the stuff that I've filmed, I've had some amazing times down in Australia. Um, and um, now heading, yeah, heading home. So we should be on the ground in about the next sort of 20 minutes or so. So, um, yeah, here we go. So here we are then back on home soil in a rather rainy San Francisco. I honestly believe that United is the best way I've ever crossed the Pacific. Their product's incredible, the only thing that Singapore do better is probably the food. 
If you're willing to forego a nice seat, great onboard product and friendly crew, it's just so that you can enjoy your lobster thermidor at 38,000 feet, then Singapore Airlines are probably worth a go. But for me, I'll always prefer a flight with a comfy bed, great seats and a fantastic onboard product that you get on United. Let me know what you think though down in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video and remember to check out Blinkist for 25% off and two memberships for the price of one at the link in the description. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.